Well, the Seahawks finally have a, a linebacker in the room, a pretty good one. We talked a lot him, about him, Tyrell Dotson, on the show today, but I've had a few hours to think about this Sam Howell uh, news in trade and, and kind of listen to John Schneider on our station with, with Bob and Dave and, and fun to have John on every single week leading up to this draft. And at first, you know, I was a little perplexed, to be honest with you, like, gosh, man, that feels like a lot of value. Uh, that you were giving up, and does this mean now we're all done in the quarterback conversation? But the more I dig into it, it just continues this theme that I know has always been there, and it is nothing new, and, and John and Pete have done this. Now it's just John and, and a new staff. But it feels like maybe because there is so much newness in that staff around John that uh, it feels like value, just value, 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 that at every turn – in all the decisions, it has just been a value proposition. You know, can we get this for this? And how does that compare to that player for that? Especially when it comes to free agency. And when I look at this trade, the value of a Sam Howell, who threw for 18,000 yards in high school, who shattered every UNC record, who got a chance to play as a young player and start all these games last year and took a beating, but was hyper productive yards and touchdowns wise. I know there were a lot of interceptions and not nearly enough wins, but a very, very just active and physical and feisty. He's kind of a Baker Mayfield to me. And when it came to value, when you crunch all the numbers, the swap of the picks and you get Sam, it was basically Sam Howell, a 23 year old for seventh round pick. And what to, what to me this clearly says is that after the top QBs, and I'd probably put Penix and Knicks on that list. After that, well, there wasn't anybody worth drafting in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh round compared to value-wise compared to Sam Howell. So you make this move, you add and strengthen your roster and your team, and you probably sit there, as John and those guys do, every single day thinking, can't get up to J.J., maybe Michael Penix, maybe Bo Nix. Let's see what the value play is in the draft with those guys as it unfolds but other bigger needs to address on their roster. And in the meantime, got a tough player, man. Got a feisty sucker in Sam Howell that, that loves to compete and loves to play and played great against these Seahawks. So if I've said it once over the last week, I'll probably say it a hundred times leading up to that draft throughout the rest of this team build. Value, value, value.